Good afternoon, I'm Richard McCarter from Access Hardware, technical sales manager for them and uh, have been for quite a number of years. Um, I've been asked along today by Handle King to uh, basically cover a number of different product areas that they actually uh, deal with which uh, are obtained from ourselves. Um, this will cover some of the common types of door sets that people will encounter actually in doing sort of DIY within the house or having somebody fitting uh, doors or, or replacement parts for them. Um, and this really just is relating to residential internal doors. So what I'm going to run through is the, uh, is the common types. I've got quite a selection of products out in, in front of me. And uh, I'll basically take this step by step uh, really with the starting point which for, for most doors is actually hanging on the hinges. Um, the first one would be standard internal door which uh, is non-locking uh, so consequently this will just have some type of latch on it. Um, you may be replacing just the door furniture uh, you, of course you could be possibly replacing the door in which case you might be wanting to fit the door on completely new hinges uh, if not you are probably leaving that door in place on its existing hinges but just fitting the door furniture but we're going to actually talk about complete door packs which contain all the products if you were actually either completely revamping around the door or replacing it um, the first thing would be where you're really starting from, which would be the hinge. Um, the packs that Handle King supply have a basic hinge, which is just a, a satin finish plain bearing hinge. This particular one I'm holding is a better quality ball bearing hinge, uh, which gives a, a nice smooth action. Um, if you were going to be considering using something like this, obviously you may just have to take account of little bits of extra chopping out in the frame, etc. Um, if you've got a carpenter that's probably doing that, that probably won't be a problem. Obviously, it really just depends on your skill level as to uh, whether you would feel comfortable doing that or not. But they would be included in a standard latch pack uh, as an option, this particular hinge. As I've mentioned, the basic one would be a latch. Um, this is a common type of tubular mortise latch. Uh, although this particular type, as you'll see with these provisions in here, allows for what we call bulk through fixings. And that is particularly required if uh, you are fitting lever on rose furniture, which I shall come to in a moment. But if I was to show you this particular fitting, it is a bolt through fixing. It has a male and female part. And this actually goes through the levers, through the door, through these provisions in this latch and out the other side and basically bolts the lever set together. Um, there are some crucial points to bring up really regarding measurements on products such as this. Um, we have a dimension which is measured from the front face plate to this center line that goes through what we call the follower which is where the spindle which is a metal bar that goes through the door connecting both sets of the levers actually operate called the back set the common one that most people would probably find and it's easy to measure against your own door let's say by probably putting a tape measure on the edge of the door and just measuring to the center line of where the levers are either on the rows or on the plate on the door the common one would be 45 millimeter but um, you may find that you've got the slightly deeper one, which is uh, 57 millimeter. In fact, this is the one that I'm holding. And just to give you a little comparison there, you will note that when those are in line, you've got that difference between these two points. So that is a crucial measurement to know when you're actually ordering your pack, whether it is for the 45 millimeter back set or the 57 millimeter. Uh, there are other dimensions that might be applied to latches, which are usually taken from an overall measurement. And the 45 millimeter back set would commonly be called a, a two and a half inch latch. 
the one with the 57 millimeter would be commonly called a three inch latch. Latches also vary in types, although this is the particular type that uh, Handle King would be selling. Um, you may have something that looks very similar in the edge of your door, but in fact might have a much larger flat body, which of course would mean there would be a certain amount of uh, infill work to do on the door if you were going to replace the latch. Finally, the finishing part of which there are many, many different styles in different finishes and obviously that is entirely your choice. Uh, this particular set of door furniture that I'm holding here is in a satin and polished finish. You might just be able to see in the central area that this is polished. Um, this particular type of lever on rose furniture, the rose being the round part here, um, is a very popular style I'm, I'm aware of. This particular one has what we call screw on rose trim and as you might be able to hear and see from what I'm doing this actually releases off of the rose and exposes the points where you would be preparing to put bolt through fixings and any additional screw fixings. Rose furniture can equally have what we call push on trim which instead of screwing off like I've just shown you I'm just going to fetch this set from over here in a similar way has a set of trim but this particular trim once the door set has actually been fastened to the door is slid over turned correctly to match any notch points that there may be on the lever set and then it is finally just pushed into place and it clips tightly on to the rows. It's uh, not easy to fetch off either once it's on so that's why I'm not actually uh, doing that now. Um, I can see I've got a, a number of questions already coming up so I shall just uh, take some of these at, at the moment. Um, Sasha is asking how do I know if these packs are suitable for my doors? Um, as I may have mentioned in the intro the packs are available for doors which cover thicknesses from 35 to 45 millimeter as a standard. Um, so it would be necessary for you to just measure the door thickness, which you can do with a rule or a tape measure or something similar to that on the edge of the door. And uh, providing it's within those dimensions, then the hardware sets would be applicable to that. Um, I've got a, another question from Cara. Uh, are door latches and locks handed? Um, the ones that Handle King are selling, no, uh, they are universal. Um, I'll just pick a product here, which is a set I'm going to come on to next. Um, this is a mortise bathroom lock. I'll go into that a little bit further when we come to the set, but uh, just to show you that this particular latch here, although out of the packaging it would be suitable for one direction but it's universal it can be re-handed uh, there's a mechanism to do that by turning either lock over and pushing the latch in and actually altering that to the correct orientation the instructions will normally be supplied with products like that with the tubular type mortise latch it is simply a case that it is turned over from one way to the other to actually suit whichever handing uh, the door actually is. I've got a question from uh, Marcus uh, asking are the levers solid? Well the particular lever that I was holding up, yes this one is. Uh, this is actually solid aluminium with a plating on it. Um, some levers can be a solid zinc alloy with, with plating on uh, but there are also levers which are tubular based or are castings which are hollow and an example of a tubular type lever would be the one I've also shown a few moments ago like this and you can see from the end it's sort of a round section and these are actually hollow so these are quite lightweight. Um, hopefully that's answered everything that I can currently see coming up so I shall uh, move on to our next pack set again which would be uh, commonly encountered for people upgrading which would 
obviously be a, what we might refer to as a bathroom door or a cloakroom type door. So you're going to have that privacy feature on it. Um, it will include hinges. Again, this is the ball race type hinge, which is the, the better quality one that can be chosen as an option. But uh, the basic hinge pack will come out with a plain steel, plain kneel, uh, plain knuckle uh, on it, but in a satin finish. Uh, but as I say, can be upgraded to these ball raced hinges. Um, the locking and latching on that will employ the product which I just held up a few moments ago, which is a mortise bathroom lock. Um, as you can see, it's got quite a large body on this, and this requires a substantial mortise in the door, which you may have already in your bathroom or cloakroom door. Uh, and if you are leaving that door in place, then you may have not too much work to actually do to put this in. You cannot entirely guarantee that uh, what you're taking out as to what you're replacing is going to be a direct fit. There could be a little bit of carpentry work involved to either enlarge the mortise or potentially you may have to block out to close it up. But um, if replacing plate furniture, on the door, which would look something like this, you could well find out you are seeing a plate that has got a turn facility on that. And when looking on the edge of the door, you may not see the edge of a mortise bathroom sash lock case, which has a deadbolt in it. You may just be seeing a tubular type mortise latch or the plate of a mortise latch. So the likelihood there is, is that your plate furniture with the turn and release on is what we call privacy furniture. And all that actually does is locks the levers from operating. So if you were to buy a bathroom pack that's included the mortise bathroom lock, you are going to have the work to chop out for that particular product. Alternatively, if you are intending to put a set of lever on roses on, which will, with a bathroom set or a, for, for the privacy function, require a turn and release, one side being the turn, the other side as a means of overcoming it, so should there be a problem, so you can either use a screwdriver or a coin to unlock it, this would be used with the bathroom lock and a set of levers as would be supplied in the pack or you may wish to go the easy route and fit a mortise deadbolt below the existing latch that you have so you would be requiring a set of levers and a turn and release set and a deadbolt and just like the latches we have this measurement from the front to the center line where the spindle goes through either 45 millimeter or 57 millimeter so they would want to correspond to the same back set that you will have for your existing latch in the door if you are obviously buying the set such as the bathroom lock set then you just need to determine whether you require the 45 or 57 millimeter back set and you will get everything complete. I've got a number of other questions coming through. So um, I'll just read down here. I've got, uh, Pierre is asking, uh, my doors are really heavy. Um, will the hinges in these packs be okay to, uh, to use? Um, this particular type of hinge, uh, I might have actually covered this before, but this particular hinge would be suitable for a door weight of up to 40 kilos. The standard thinner variant hinge is, is up to 20 kilos. So it, it is something that you do need to, uh, to check into, um, the, the, the weight of your door. Obviously, if that's an existing door, that's not quite so simple. Um, it may mean that you need to take the door off. You could weigh it on a set of uh, normal household type scales. 
if it's a door that you are obtaining from a supplier online or, or going into one of these like warehouse type stores, the likelihood is, is that that information may be on the packaging. And so obviously that will give you everything you need to determine that what you are buying uh, is correct or, or that obviously you can seek um, approval, uh, sorry, assistance for getting the, the correct hinge. If it was a very thick door, the 44 millimeter type, and it's a solid door, potentially it may exceed that, that 40 kilos, and in which case you would need the slightly larger four inch ball raised hinge, which will actually take a capacity of up to 120 kilos. So uh, you'd be more than covered with that. I uh, hope that answers that particular question for you, Pierre. Um, Marcus is, is asking, are these, uh, are these packs expensive and what will they cost? Um, I, I don't actually sell for, for Handle King, but I do know from what they've made me aware that uh, they have packs starting from around 7 95 so I believe. And of course, just depending on the style of lever that you've actually chosen, because obviously they do go up in, in range, then obviously that pack price is going to go up. But of course, that's all readily available on their own website. Um, the core products actually within those packs, such as latches, bathroom lock, will generally remain the same. And as I've said, you have the option with them whether you are actually upgrading to the, the ball race type hinge from the standard hinge. And uh, obviously they'll have a pack price which, uh, which they can quote you or you'll be able to pick that information up on their, their website. Um, just some other little points about these latches and uh, likes of the bathroom lock. And it's probably easy to show you with the bathroom lock. There's a, a component supplied with this plastic part that people will be wondering, well, what on earth is that? We call it a dust box, but basically the keep stroke strike plate, which is fitted in the rebate of the frame, has to have obviously mortises which are chop outs into the frame to allow for the latch bolt to shoot into and also the dead bolt to shoot into. And to save basically having to make a very nice neat job of that and paint it out, this particular product is chopped into place and the face plate secures over the front of that so you've just got a nice neat finish with the dust box. The latches have a very similar product, but obviously it is only half the size of this to cater for the size of the latch. That hopefully deals generally with uh, the bathroom lock set for you. Um, finally, in terms of common internal doors, I'm just going to move on to a locking door set. So again, we would have our trusted hinges in the pack which could be the basic ones or your option would be the the higher and better quality ball raised hinges similar to like the bathroom lock which of course is that one and you will see this has got this little socket in the bottom which is where the spindle goes through for the turn and release sets which operate the dead bolt a mortise sash lock instead of having the point with the with the spindle to go through for the turn and release set has got a key in it which does what most of us would know and obviously when used it, it throws the dead bolt out of there again the same measurements dimensionally apply so we've either got from the front of the face plate to the center line through this square hole here, which is how we call the follower, which takes the square metal bark or the spindle through the door furniture, will either be 45 or 57 millimeters. Again, if you're replacing something on, on a, an existing door, you need to check that measurement from the edge of the door to that center line as I'm following through there, which would be the center line of where your lever is or knob set on your door and that will allow you to make the correct uh, the correct choice either for 45 or 57 millimeter with this being a mortise sash lock and having a key in the pack set would actually be what we call an escutcheon which is just a little trim set that has got a provision for the key to be able to pass through into the lock 
And on this particular escutcheon set, a nice escutcheon set that's supplied here with this nice lever set. Oh, this is a matching accessory to that type of lever set. Again, we have screw on trim, which, as it says, it just turns off, allows you to expose the fitting points for screwing it onto the door. And then basically, after you've done that, you screw the trim back on. Equally, if you are buying pack sets which have some of the tubular type levers, which have the push on type trim. The matching accessory, whether that be a bathroom turn and release to operate your mortise bathroom lock or the escutcheons, would be of a similar type. It would be an under rose which you fix to the door and then basically you have the trim to actually push on. Again, this particular type of mortise lock, as we have with the bathroom lock, would have the dust box provision to sit behind the keep and stripe plate. Now this particular keep, you might notice this is a little bit different to the mortise bathroom lock keep. This has got some little folds inside, which allow you to have an adjustment to take out any little bit of rattle that there is on the door. And this particular one, has got a blade inside there that you would be able to put a flat screwdriver in and just tweak it very slightly until you get that right feel of the door into the rebate of the frame so it isn't rattling about. The latches have a similar type of um, feature within their stripe plate, but it hasn't got a screwdriver option. So this particular type of plate would be in place you would test the door when you've just got the plate actually loose into place. If you do feel the door rattling around, you can drop the plate out, put it down on a block or something, and with a hammer, just tap this little tang very slightly. And again, once you try it in, and after that, try it in the door and just make sure that you know you've taken some of that rattle out or repeat the process until you get that at a point that you feel is nice, and then basically fix the plate in. The bathroom lock plate is a plain plate and consequently, again, reliant upon the carpenter's skills or, or your own DIY skills that you would need to set this into place fairly accurately to start off with because the key thing is, is that the latch, when it's actually coming into play in the keep after rolling to it, is against the front edge of the aperture in the keep so that your door isn't rattling around in the frame. If you do have to make adjustments on something like this, the options are limited. You will have to basically recut and actually chop the plate into place in the correct place. Just seeing if we've got any more questions rolling through. Um, because presently we've covered all the key or the most common internal door sets for, as I say, residential sets, which the, uh, the Handle King packs are suitable, as previously mentioned, for 35 to 45 millimeter thick. Um, if you've got doors which are thicker than that, then you would, uh, you would need to speak to one of their advisors in the first instance, uh, because there are some options to go on to, to thicker doors but there may be other implications to that as well because uh, as we've mentioned the weight factor has to be considered um, again i'm just checking to see if we have any more questions actually coming through it looks like hopefully i've probably uh, answered most of it in what we've gone through If there's anybody out there that wants to pose any questions, feel free to uh, to fire fire something in. I'm happy to uh, to answer. At least endeavour to do so. I hope that this has been 
reasonably informative without being over technical although it, it can be quite difficult for someone like me to uh, to actually do that but uh, that's sense the reason why as i say if you have any questions on that please feel free to uh, to fire them in um i'll just recap we've got common internal doors latch sets bathroom sets and basically lock sets and uh, hopefully everything we've covered here today will enable you to make an informed uh, choice if you are doing that uh, independently online uh, but of course uh, handle king have telephone advisors that will equally uh, and would be very pleased to help you out if you have any queries otherwise um, it looks like we've covered all the questions that have currently been posed as well so i would just like to uh, thank you very much for those that have joined us this afternoon and uh, we will probably be seeing you before too long so thank you very much bye for now